Hey y'all, I know this is a different type of video. This is a different type of, this is a different type of like, what you call it, um, setup. Y'all know I'll do anything for my new babes. So I'm just lighting up an incense. Get some vibes going. <sighs> y'all, it is that time of year where seasonal depression starts to become a biatch okay <sighs> y'all it's a lot of it's been a lot of things going on these past few months and don't mind the face the beach all the hair I, I might be doing a hair review on this hair i'm supposed to i didn't even do no type of styling video for this hair. I, I literally just went off straight vibes. Like, we just gonna wing it. Um, so yeah, get into the beat. It's a little, a little fuzzy because it's, it's been raining outside. But um, y'all, life has been, life has been something, y'all. Literally, life has been. And this is not gonna be no an emotional type video. I, I really have no clue how this video is gonna go. I really don't even have like a topic. I'm just going off straight vibe, like straight vibes and feelings. Like, cause I feel like a lot of people don't come to others about real shit no more. I feel like it's everything is so fabricated. Everything about the world is just like, just gonna hold on to stuff, wanna hide stuff from people, no. Does my face look a little orange or it's just me? Let me just turn it down a little bit. It just probably looks a little orange. I don't, I don't really care. I'm gonna change the setting. Like, let me see. <laughs> Y'all, look at me. I look better. I just keep it like this. I don't wanna start messing on that. I'm gonna turn it this way. I am sitting on my counter, y'all, because I'm right next to my, right next to my microwave. But <sighs> this year has been so trying and a blessing at the same time like it's been such an emotional roller coaster what's that song last night i cried tossing time woke up with dry eyes my mind was racing he was pacing lord help me please tell me what i have got into that's how i'm feeling right now Vivica, Viv Vivian something, that song, go listen to that song, because that's my feelings at this moment. Emotional roller coaster, like. <sighs> and I feel like nobody likes to talk about it. Like, I feel like people don't like talking about their emotions no more. At all. And I've been learning to really express my emotions the best way possible because why keep it bottled in like if you keep it bottled in that's just gonna be emotions coming in, emotions coming in, emotions coming in until you just blow up and at that point it's gonna be like not just one situation but it's gonna be multiple situations you're gonna have to deal with at one time and that's so stressful i used to put myself through that and literally never sit there and acknowledge what made me upset until it was way too late and i think that would kind of hinder me in relation relationships friendships family dealing with myself personally i will wait until i am through to say something when i've really just been learning to say it like within the span of time like within within the same span of time that i'm like still feeling the situation so i'm gonna be personal child i'm not gonna say no names but i just feel like you know if you watch this video you watch it if you don't you don't but yo I really feel like this year has really taught me about and not listening to everybody else's advice. I really feel like it's taught me to really go based off my own feelings and emotions and not based off anybody else's perception or per like of how things should go because it worked out for them. But 
feel like I look really orange, y'all. <laughs> my back, I keep looking at myself, just like, do this, do I look okay? But um, yeah, I really just been going through that process where I'm just, I'm just riding a wave. And I went through a situation last night with somebody that I really, really genuinely like. And other than putting myself in that situation where I say, you know what, I'm wrong. I realize that you're not always wrong in situations. Like your feelings are just as valid as the next party. Like, and I realized that sometimes we try to come in and fix things like we're the handyman when that's not really our job description. It's not even our description at all. Like, and it's like, when am I gonna have somebody come in and give me a chance? When am I gonna have somebody come in and want to stick it out with me? Not saying I'm like forcing anybody like, oh, I got so much stuff going on, you gotta wait for me. No, 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 no. But when are you gonna, when am I gonna feel somebody trying to fight for me? Like I put all this energy into people. When am I gonna see that shit for, done for me with the truest intentions? Because when I have people come into my life or I deal with certain people, I give them 100% every time. I always stay true to myself. I always make sure I don't sugarcoat nothing. I don't sit here and try to be somebody I know I'm not. You get true and authentic Ari. This is not Nova. <laughs> this is not Bella. If you know, you know. This is straight Ariana talking to y'all. Like, you're getting straight me. And I always was told, like, oh, well, you can't really be yourself around people because they don't know how to handle me. Okay, well, I'm gonna find somebody that's gonna be able to handle me. Because I don't, I don't know a lot to do with sometimes. I can admit that. But I'm not too much to handle because somebody can handle me. But it's like, I'm not going to put myself in that place where I'm just like, oh, my standards are too high or my standards are too low. I'm just going to let anybody come in. No, you, you, you have to have something going for yourself. And if you don't completely have everything that you want done, I'm going to stick it through. Because I, I, I know I'm not the best person. Yeah, I might have my own crib. Cool. I might not be doing, driving the newest whip out here. Cool. But I still got something going. I still got a plan. I still got shit. I'm having in the works. It's not all happening at once because you know I gotta be able to handle one thing first before I try to take on another thing. Words of wisdom, don't handle too many things at once because if you can't get everything together, what are you doing? You're, you're hurting yourself. So I just was like, I, I was dealing, I was not even dealing with, I wouldn't even say dealing with this person, no. It was just me, a cute little crush, you know? And it was just like, this time it was so different. This time it was just so different and it's just like, I'm not going to say I hate this about myself. But I, I just dislike when I'm giving my truest self and putting my truest self on the line and I still get hurt. When it's people out here that's faking who they are for the social for the gram y'all see me I'm, I'm straight off work with it this ain't no filter with it baby this is straight raw and uncut i don't even think i'm gonna edit this other than me jumping on top <laughs> jumping on top of this this thing to get get to get to turn you know get to my little frame for the video but it's just like you have people that aren't real for themselves no more so they don't know who they are and they, they, they let the world dictate who they're going to be for the day. Fuck no. I'm going to be who I am for myself every single day. I'm not going to have nobody come in and try to dismantle what I work so hard for. Because I work, anybody that knows me or anybody that watches my channel, y'all done seen I done went through a whole lot of stuff, okay? Even down to my private videos. Like, if y'all, if you know, you know. But your girl went through a lot of stuff. A whole lot of stuff. And it's just like, I always bounce back when it came to school, when it came to friends, when it came to relationships, family, or just myself, I always bounce back. 
this is this is what it look like a bounce back this is what it, a bounce back looks like i'm in my own crib yeah i might not have everything i want in here but it's something it's something and i'm so grateful for it but it's just like it hurts so much when it's just like you want to see that same potential in other people that you fuck with and it's like sometimes it's not that way and it hurts so much when you really just want somebody to see the light that they have in them you really just want to like let them know like it's beauty within you that you don't see it's so much within you that you don't see and i feel like you're not trying to look deeper because i had to look deeper i had to go within myself to figure out what does ariana want it's not about what ariana's family wants it's not about what school wants for ariana what do i want for myself and once i sat there and started acknowledging what i want your girl moved <laughs> in a whole other state 17 hours away i've been on my shit working going for everything i want getting back into my hair stuff and it's still going still got shit planned i just started my own podcast if you have not tuned into my first episode make sure that you go check the description bar down below because the first episode is already out but i had so much beautiful shit going for myself because i actually sat there and really put in the motherfucking work i did by myself i did this for myself by myself because i seen so much potential i seen so much light within myself i seen so much even when people try to dim my light even when people try to make it seem like i wasn't beautiful enough or i wasn't i didn't have the body type like everybody was supposed to have i wasn't talking away everybody was talking i wasn't walking away everybody was walking i won't rock in the clothes everybody was rocking i don't give a fuck about none of that because as long as i feel good on the inside everything i put on gonna look good hair makeup nails all that stuff ain't nothing on me gonna be looking ugly nothing i mean absolutely nothing because this heart is beautiful and as long as your inside is beautiful not even knowing i'm talking about yeah keep yourself healthy though but spiritually like emotionally beautiful you're going to attract so many people that want to see that. And that's why I be knowing, like, when I attract so many people, it's because I know for a fact they see that shit within them, but then they doubt themselves every single time. Don't doubt yourself for nobody. I don't care if you feel like you don't have nobody but yourself. Sometimes those be the best moments for you to truly learn because you don't have nobody in your corner telling you how this should go or how that should go. No. You're doing this for yourself. You're not doing this for nobody else's benefit. You're not walking by yourself's shoes. Nobody else is walking in your shit. You're doing this shit by yourself. And that's how it has to remain. Don't let anybody come into your life make you feel like you are less than anything. Don't let anybody come into your life making you feel like you don't have potential to do shit. Because trust me, baby, if I can do it, me, my crazy behind can do it. You for sure can too, <laughs> okay? And this is not paid, so this is not, what is it called? This is not a, um, what is that shit called? It's not a paid sponsorship, okay? I'm not promoting life as a paid sponsor. They're not sponsoring as well. They're kind of sponsoring this video. Life is kind of sponsoring this video because you know I'm talking. But <laughs> you got to be able to see your fullest potential in anything, even in the darkest rooms. Even when you don't have nothing but yourself to go based off, trust your intuition trust your heart use your heart and not your mind because your mind can play tricks on you your mind can play tricks on you but your heart those are your true emotions and people always say oh i can't use my heart because my heart always gets me in fucked up situation no your mind your mind plays those tricks on you make it seem like you can't use your heart i'd rather sit here and put my heart out on everything i do i'd rather sit here and every time i'm going into something i put my heart into it I'd rather do that because at the end of the day, I'm staying true to myself. I know that when in doubt, if anything is to hit the fan, I can sit here and say, well, Ariana was being herself. Ariana was being true to who she was. She won't sit here being nobody. I'm not getting caught up in a situation where somebody over here like, ooh, hold on, we didn't see that coming. No, you you seen exactly what was happening. You done seen exactly what was happening, baby. I was giving you true, authentic, raw and uncut me. And you couldn't handle it. I don't got shit to do with me. Because if you can't see what's in front of you, then what? what's the point? Like, you have to be able to see there's so many things out here for you. I seen a quote on Twitter. 
this world has a lot of space take as much as you need take all of it if you have to take this world by storm because there's never going to be another version of you nobody can ever completely mimic you yeah you have people that's going to try to be like you like i've had people try to jump into this hair shit because i didn't got into the hair shit which i just did mentorships and stuff but i didn't see people try to do exactly like me like down to captions hashtags all that stuff work on the same exact hair companies that i didn't even promote to say hey you can work with them I'm not saying i had to hold on to them but it's just like some things i just want to have to myself but when i realized that i was over here trend setting y'all can tell me nothing because before anybody got into this hair shit for real for real for real for real for real for real, for real, for real it was me okay in my little city it was me okay i was getting the hair i was switching it up okay so it's just like you go you go have people that's gonna try to mimic you because they want to be you you will have people try to do things now the only time i actually acknowledge people that's really out here trying to do something when they ask for advice because they want to better themselves cool but now when you try to turn around you're trying to maybe somebody to try to be better than them to oh you know i I figured this out on my own. Baby, you're a liar. <laughs> you little spicy little thing. You're a liar. You're a liar. Mm -mm. Cause nobody could ever do anything better than you. You have to believe in that shit. Nobody else can do anything that you do in life better than you. Because you unique. You're uniquely made to do things differently. That's why it's different versions to shit. Because everybody wants to mix and remix and restyle or recycle a little bit of everything okay but the moment you see here and do something it ain't, oh it ain't original more no you you taking up after somebody else no <laughs> i stopped sitting here allowing myself to stop myself from doing something because everybody else did me i don't give a fuck if these bitches out here saying lashes hair um ex what is it <sighs> clothes shoes okay but they're not doing it like me they're not doing it like little Ari, big stepper. They're not doing it like me, Ari the Dawn. They're not doing it like me, okay? Think of yourself like that. They're not doing shit like you. Don't be having nobody come into your life and you feel like you was less than yourself. Don't be having nobody come and make it seem like you can't have potential to do stuff because you have that light within you that only you really can see half the time. But when you have genuine people come to your life and show you that your light shines so fucking bright that it blinds these motherfuckers out here because these people react to fucking crazy. I'm gonna start telling people, put some sunglasses on because the light that I bring to this motherfucking table gonna just blow up this whole thing. You gonna be over here like Ray Charles, no offense. Stevie Wonder, no offense. You can't see me, okay? You can't see me. That's how that's how my light is starting to shine, which to the point where motherfuckers can't see what's in front of them because it's so blind. Like I'm my light is just shining so bright to the point where they're just like, oh my gosh, I can't see anything. What's going on? What's can I see? It's like bird box. I'm getting very much bird box with with how my energy is. You can't see shit but feel it. You're gonna try to touch and feel, trying to see where everything's at. No. Horse, <laughs> back up. Talk to the hand. Talk to the hand. That's how I'm about to be given. And I've been given that. I've been given that. So it's just like I be having to remember who I am. I'm trying to tell people, remember who you are. Like I had a moment, like today I was crying in the bed. You wouldn't even see, you wouldn't even thought I would have been in the bed crying all day. No, I was in the bed crying hurt, hurt as hell. Tears all down my face and shit. And I was like, hold up, girl. <laughs> get up. Yeah, you can feel down right now, but get up. Yeah, you're going to feel through this shit. We're going to get through it. But right now, get up. Get up. You're not going to be in this bed all day. I didn't miss work. My first job, I didn't miss work. Not even fuck, Not even on no crazy shit. I, I just, my whole schedule for the day was off. So much shit was going on. I got up. I was like, you know what? Let me get ready for my second job. And then the thing is, they didn't really need me. So that's how I knew that I needed to do this for myself. Got up, took a shower. I was bleaching and I was on my wig. Y'all see? What's it giving? Scampiana. Yeah, I see the scampiana. Okay, put a little powder on it. Did my hair. Y'all, I ain't even invested in the damn hot comb. I was over here. Ooh, I burned myself. Yeah. I was like, you know what? Let me step it up a notch. I was playing some. If you don't, if you know, if the girls that know, the girls that get it, get it. The girls that don't, don't. Subliminals. Put a few that I be listening to. 
I was listening to some subliminals and I was like, mm. yeah. Cause at first I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna lay down. I'm just gonna lay down. You know, I'm gonna put this little mask on my face. I had a little gold 24 karat mask put on my face, you know, real bougie, real bougie. And I was like, you know, I'm just gonna lay in the bed. Got up. I said, girl, we're gonna wait, we're gonna wait for this mask to drop. But I was like, you know, I'm gonna get up. So it was around like six, seven o'clock. I was like, I don't gotta be work till 10 30. It took me a minute to do my makeup. About an hour and a half. So I got up, rinsed it off my face. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup. And it took so much. It took so much. The smallest things that you can love to do. Your hair, your makeup, your nails, whatever. I even had some nails that broke. I had to fix them. Yeah, getting too weak. Getting too weak. Getting too weak. It's getting very much extra, extra long. But I had to, I had to sit here and I was just like, why does it feel so hard to do something that I love so much? Because your heart, your, your your heart is so heavy, but your mind will try to play with you. Like, get back in that bed, get back in that bed. You, we we got to still suffer in silence. You know, I sat here and turned my music on. I was listening. <sighs> yeah, I'm in love with you, baby. And I want you to know that I'm hooked on your body. If you know the song, comment down below. But I was listening to that. I was listening to a lot of, a lot of other songs. And my AirPods on. I haven't charged my AirPods in a minute. That's how y'all know I've been off my shit because I love listening to my music hot, like busting a damn eardrums out my ear. Like, so I had my AirPods on. I was just jamming to the song. I was doing my hair. I started my hair first. I was like, oh, this is cute. You know me, I love a cute little Bob. I love a cute little Bobby Young. And this is a 4x4 four four child. This ain't no, this ain't no frontal child. This is giving very much 4x4. Four four. Yeah, you wouldn't even know. Child, I didn't tell you. Mm hmm. Yeah. So I was doing my hair and I was like, you know what? Let me do my makeup. Fuck it. Let's do it. Fuck it, we ball. So I did my makeup and I just kept feeling, I kept feeling so good. Cause at first I started off doing my makeup and it was not hitting well. Then I was just like, you know what? We're gonna just keep going. We're just gonna keep. And I didn't even feel like there's nothing on my face either. I was just like, I'm just gonna go put some makeup on. I'm just gonna do what I do. And I was like, I'm gonna get Barbie trained. So I put a little pink, a little glitter. A little new cut, a new color. Yeah, that's what it's giving. A new cut, a new color. And I was just like, I got it done. I had my new, I had a new lip. It was cute. I had a video. I'm gonna probably insert the video on the side so y'all can see. Cause I was like, I don't forgot who I was. And then I got that cook. Yeah, it was something. I'll put it. In, I'll put it over here so y'all can see. Or oh, whatever. Cool. So I was doing that, and I just felt so good. I got to work and they didn't even need me. <laughs> I was just over here thinking like, mm. and it was some craziness that was happening and I can get into it. But then it's just like, in that moment, I just felt so proud of myself to just get up. Even though I knew for a fact, I was so like stressed out from just fucking crying all damn day over something that I really shouldn't have been fucking crying about. I just felt so strong, so liberated. That I just got up and just chose me. I didn't chose to just I didn't choose to waddle in my pain. I didn't choose to sit here and just let this temporary situation get a long lasting effect on me. I got up, went to work, and just kept it pushing. Felt good, looked good, smelled good. Nail all the nails was on, child. All all nails was on. Makeup was beat, hair was done, outfit was cute. And I just felt so good that I actually sat there and decided to choose myself no matter what that hurt may have felt like i chose my heart over my mind because at the end i love myself enough to get up i love myself enough to choose to be happy even in the situations even when i got in crying i was like bro every time you cry every time one person walk out your life that's just another way of saying the universe saying we got some shit going. We got some shit brewing up for you. We got some shit about to come to you, but be prepared. Let this moment go. Let us try to revamp some shit. And then if need be, we'll give it back to you. And it doesn't even take that long. It don't take that long. They really just want you to just remove you from a situation so you can get back on track with yourself. So don't think everything that's taken out your life is gone forever. No. Sometimes they need you to just see who you are because sometimes you get so caught up in trying to be the be the person that everybody wants you to be and you have moments where you might slip a little bit like oh <laughs> let's drop my crown straighten that up queen or king 
straighten up your crown and realize choose yourself don't ever change yourself for nobody i don't give a fuck if it is beyonce i don't give a fuck if it's black fire it's trying y'all know i leave me some brain y'all know i leave me some beyonce y'all can't let these people another soul come in that's learning this life shit just like you fuck it up for you because just as we are little souls traveling in this little space so are they so are they so don't see here and I, I read this book i'm keep mentioning this book the four agreements get that book it's on amazon it's like six dollars and one of the agreements is don't take things personally because whatever somebody is projecting onto you has nothing to do with you has everything to do with themselves sometimes you'll like be so bright sometimes you can be such a relief to these people and they fuck it up because their head is getting to them they they make it seem like dang this is too good to be true when in all actuality some people just don't some people just don't get it some people would never get it because i'm the type of person I, I i will let a person know you are so bright you you have so much potential in this world i would never sit there and just buy i used to do that and it never got me to work because i didn't think of it like, like myself if i was in that situation when i want somebody just to completely walk away why well, i want somebody to give me a chance because every time I, I hear that <laughs> i don't know if i'm gonna get copyrighted but you know that little chicken little scene where he was on the top of the roof and he had a little sad song playing in the background. Look it up, look it up. It, it was like Chicken Little on the roof, just look it up. Chicken Little on the roof. And it was a sad moment. He was just like, when is it gonna be my turn? Like, when is it gonna be me? And I felt that and I cried when I seen that shit. I had replayed it too. I was on Disney Plus crying. And I was just like, bro, I felt that. Sometimes you ask yourself, when is it gonna be me? Baby, it already is you. If you ask yourself, when is it gonna be? It already is you. You're going through this moment where you are so new to this feeling, where you don't think that it's here when all actuality it is. Everything you want is already here. You just have to acknowledge it. You have to shed light on it. Because the moment you put yourself on that and you touch it or put light on the situation, that's when it truly becomes you. It awakes itself. It awakes itself. So look within yourself. Don't let nobody come in and dismiss what you work so hard for. If you are somebody that wants to do great things in this world, do that. Don't let nobody come in and just fuck up nothing for you. Because you're so beautiful, okay? I tell myself, I am love, I am light, I am strong, I am kind. Everything is going to be all right. I was seeing this shit around my house. I'm like, I am love, I am light, I am strong, I am kind. Everything is going to be all right i start i start seeing this shit and i'll be over here like you know what everything is gonna be good because i'm strong okay i'm a strong individual i am strong then i'm kind i'm a kind motherfucker <laughs> i am love i'm the true embodiment of love i was created by love i was created to love i was created for love i am light it's nothing dark about me baby other than the hair I got on my head. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, love, light, strong, kind. Yeah. And that's it. Love, I am light, I am strong, I am kind. Everything is going to be all right. I've been having to remember the song. Because I'll be forgetting sometimes. But you have to think, with all that's within you, you are still going to be all right you're still gonna be good you're still gonna be good because you have so many things that you don't even know that you can't even see with your two eyes sometimes you gotta open up this you need these to to look you need this to see look see look see okay remember that so y'all <laughs> i'm gonna get off this little this counter oh yeah you see how short i draw down so cool 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 but yeah, y'all, um, that's all I have for this video. I didn't want it to be way too long, but it's already at the 30 minute mark and I don't really want to go that far. But yeah, y'all, keep your heads up. Don't don't let none of this this worldly shit get to you. This is temporary. Okay, this is an illusion. It's all an illusion. Okay, remember that. When you think to yourself like, what's 
this is going on for? It's an illusion, baby. This ain't real. This ain't real. You make it the way you want to make it. If you want this shit to be sunshine rainbows, make that shit sunshine rainbows. But yeah, y'all. <laughs> like I said, this was a different type of video. I know y'all usually tune into my channel to see like, what is it called? Hair videos or my moving vlog. But that's not the type of video, baby. So again, if you are someone that would want more videos like this where I just sit and talk to y'all, do that. Or you just need some encouragement. Do that. Comment down below. Thumbnail. Comment down below. If you are somebody that, you know, just wants to have these type of talks, you know. We just gotta get away from all the worldly shit. Let's let's talk about it. Let's literally talk about it. So yeah y'all i love y'all so much keep y'all heads up everything's gonna be good everything's gonna work out for you and your best highest potential and i'll see y'all in the next video oh shoot i forgot make sure y'all subscribe if you haven't i mean if you have already watched this full video and you gotta subscribe what are you doing <laughs> make sure you turn your post notifications on so you can be notified anytime i post a video follow me on all my social media outlets and if you're a real nova babe you already do that so yeah, now I can end the video. <laughs> so y'all have a good one. I love y'all so much.